Hi everyone, it's Mr. Engel Cope. I'm creating a screencast to go along with the lesson for Mr. Maxwell's social studies class for Thursday, October 1st. Um, I'm going to start by going over what assignments you're responsible for completing um, during today's class period. Again, I am sorry that Mr. Maxwell is not here today, um, but hopefully the screencast will help to steer you in the right direction. So I am logged in um, as a student, uh, looking at it from the student view in his first period class. So I'm going to start by uh, clicking the assignment September 28th through October 2nd folder. Then once I'm in, I'm going to scroll down to Thursday 10-1. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, the first thing that we're going to complete is a warm up. It's another discussion post uh, dealing with power and authority of Babylonian and Assyrian empires. I'm going to go over that assignment in just a quick second. Uh, you have a reading from the textbook, Power and Authority of Babylonian and Assyrian Empires. A quick check. So these are questions that accompany that reading. And then you have kind of an exit slip discussion post as well. So let's start by going over the warm up first. The warm up says directions, read the source text below and review the image, then respond to the question in the discussion post below. So we're going to start by reading this text, then we're going to respond to this question in a discussion post response below. So the first empires. As the independent city-states of Sumer grew in size, power, and wealth, they became rivals. They each wanted to gain control over more resources. As a result, they often came in conflict. For hundreds of years, the city-states fought among themselves. In time, strong rulers conquered the whole region, creating the world's first empires. An empire is a state containing several countries or territories. The Babylonian Empire was ruled from the city of Babylon in the image below, which was originally a city-state. All right, if you need to reread that, now's a good time to pause the video and read that aloud to yourself. Um, but after you have finished rereading it, please respond to this question below in a discussion post. The question says, what might be necessary to gain and maintain control over a large territory in ancient world? Again, what might be necessary to gain and maintain control over a large territory in ancient world? Go ahead and respond to the post below. Please use complete sentences when you are responding. And I will uh, create another screencast to go over the next parts of your assignments. Okay, thanks.